From Interior Alaska's most trusted news source, this is your morning news update with J.R. Lewis. Good morning and thanks for joining us. It's Wednesday, May 28, 2014. In the news, an injured hiker was rescued after a fall of more than 20 feet from the popular Angel Rocks hiking trail Monday evening. According to Steese Fire Department's Chief Flynn, several fire departments as well as Alaska State Troopers were called in to rescue the male hiker around 8.30 p.m. Flynn says the hiker's injuries were severe and he was transported by ambulance to Fairbanks Memorial Hospital for treatment. The overall rescue effort lasted until nearly midnight. A man convicted of two homicides in 1976 during robberies in Fairbanks has been convicted of robbing an Anchorage gas station. State prosecutors say an Anchorage jury convicted 57-year-old Randy Lee Osborne of first-degree robbery yesterday. He's scheduled to be sentenced October 2nd and faces 15 to 99 years in prison. Prosecutors say Osborne was on parole in January 2013 when he showed up at an Anchorage Shell station and threatened to shoot a clerk unless he was given money. Prosecutors say the clerk handed over $438. And U.S. Senator Lisa Murkowski was the featured speaker during the 11th annual luncheon of the LTL committee. As she has done for the past 11 years, Murkowski used the opportunity to update constituents in Fairbanks on progress being made in Washington, D.C. She says due to the midterm political season and gridlock in the Senate, true governance, to use her words, is stalled. Murkowski opened yesterday's address with a discussion of her rivalry with the Environmental Protection Agency, saying their overreach into the Pebble Mine Project is too much to ignore. Quick look at the Fairbanks weather. Today, mostly cloudy, areas of smoke, highs in the upper 60s. Tonight, mostly cloudy, lows in the lower to mid 40s. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy with highs in the lower 70s. Extended forecast continued mostly cloudy on into next week. Highs in the 70s through Friday, 60s over the weekend. And the allergy forecast is still high for trees, but low for grass, weeds, and mold. And that's all we have for right now. Glad you could join us. On behalf of your News Center 11 team, I'm J.R. Lewis. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.